If you've been watching our channel, you might know what this is. This is the Furch Little Jane Travel Guitar. It's not broken. This is what it's supposed to do. It's very cool. And today we have a new and limited edition model to show you. So stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name's Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom swag. And check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcast. Where Cooper, uh, on the next episode, will sound as seductive as he just did at the entrance of this video. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're excited because we have two Little Jane guitars. Yeah, this one's for the Furk heads, you know what I'm saying? We, this is what we've been waiting on. We have not had a new guitar of theirs to show off on the channel for a long time. Um, luckily, Nam this year brought a lot of very cool new things that we're going to be rolling out. Yep. But the first of which are uh, the Django Unjained, you know? <laughs> We're getting unjained over here. That's what it's called when you take the neck off. You're unjained. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. These are cool guitars. We've done videos on these before. If you haven't seen these, uh, they're always fun uh, to kind of freak the uninitiated out with because uh, the neck comes off and the headstock comes off the neck. And uh, well, we are initiated. We are initiated. Um, <laughs> Members of the League of Shadows. <laughs> So, uh, so if you've seen the little Jane, or if you haven't, here's the here's the breakdown. Basically, it is an all solid wood travel guitar in what's basically a full scale length. It's 24 and 3 16 So it's not as short scale as like a GS Mini typically would be. It's closer to a full size scale length, which I think has a lot of benefits if this is for your practicing because you're not going to get used to a smaller guitar. It's a smaller body but it's all solid wood construction. And like we said, the neck comes off. It's actually, and there's a few guitars that do this. I think this is one of the better ones because it's a simple lever that, that uh, connects to the guitar. It's got a little hook right there and you've got a metal plate. It's all reinforced. Um, and then on the head, on the neck itself, the headstock, you can barely even see the seam yeah. on these, but there's a seam that goes through the neck, through the fretboard, and there's reinforcement steel bars that allow this headstock with locking tuners to lock in place on the neck um, so that you can combine it and make a full-size guitar. But when it's in its bag, it's perfect carry-on size and it's yeah. completely disconnected. And the neck stows in the body in the bag. So you can see this isn't just like a sound port, um, but there's structure inside the guitar so that the neck slides in to this gasketed you know, cavity effectively. Yeah. It's, uh, it's rugged it, like it's a nice yeah. robust thing so you're not going to stretch out the neck hole <laughs> george costanza style there you know? go and it's not going to damage the guitar through rattling around in the bag and the bags are great yeah. so this is your bag guitar fits in here backpack you got some pockets for things but in here that's where you put the guitar where the neck fits in and then your headstock Fits into a little little pocket right. guy, so you're not going to scratch anything up. And you're probably asking, well, what about the strings? So the strings, this is really kind of ingenious method of doing this. There's a retainer that's just past a zero fret. So where you would typically have a nut, they've kind of created this like captive retainer that holds the strings in place. I mentioned earlier that the, the tuners are locking. So you pull these through, you lock it down, you tune it up, and there's a zero fret that is it there right before this retainer to act as your nut and kind of give you the perfect intonation. And that means that when you take it off, you don't have to loosen anything, you don't have to retighten anything. A lot of times, not every time, we put this thing together, it's in tune um, or pretty darn close to it. And so that's what's really cool. I've also liked that you could use this as a carry-on because you usually get one personal item and an iPad will fit in that uh, bag. Uh, along with water and snacks and everything else you need for your flight. So Yeah, it's super cool. Um, in the past, we have shown you the LJ-10CM, which was a Cedar Mahogany yep. guitar. And now for 2024, um, they have put out three? I think three. Three new uh, wood pairings that will be standard models. And then this one, which is one of 20. Because... It's Coco Bolo. Solid Coco Bolo. That ain't no, uh, you know, HPL. No, no, no HPL. Uh, it's not laminate. lamb. Yeah, and I mean, it's 
if you look inside the guitar, one, you can see the little neck pocket thing that it fits in there with. But I mean, it looks like a really nice embracing and everything. It's, it's awesome. So, <laughs> um, Spruce Cocobolo, that is limited to 20 pieces worldwide. It was part of their first edition program, yep. which, of course, since we love those guitars, we are part of. So, we're going to see a lot of really cool new things. Um, and we'll talk about those a little bit, but. This is a standard model. This is spruce and rosewood. Um, nice grained ivoroid binding. It just it looks mm -hmm. sharp. Um, and then there is also an all mahogany version, mm -hmm. which we got and we sold immediately. immediately. Um, and there's also a spruce mahogany version. So these are the LJ11s, mm -hmm. I believe, which is the spruce rosewood and, and spruce mahogany. And then I. And this would the be the L mahogany. Yeah, and then this is the LJ11 SC for the Coco. Yes, yeah, Spruce Coco Bowl. So more options uh, with Little Janes. They also none of neither of these have a pickup in it, but you can get them with a pickup in them, um, which really for somebody that say you're like me and you do one show out of town, out of Texas a year. Yeah. And I always just bring my GS Mini. This is way easier to to travel with, you know. Um, they are not the same price as a GS Mini. No. Because these are all solid wood and they're a little, you know, this is an expensive travel guitar. But it's it is a really an expensive nice travel guitar. guitar. The thing about it that, I mean, these guitars kind of defy the odds. You know, their construction is unique, but the fact that they're this small and with solid wood sound this good. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the secret sauce is uh, that they're doing over there in the Czech Republic. But um, it's it, it's impressive. One of the things we've heard from builders is that with a small guitar, making it all solid wood sometimes doesn't really have a benefit because of the small size. But it does here. I mean, these guitars work. Um, and not only do they just sound good, but there's a resonance to them that you can tell comes from its all solid wood construction. So I'm a huge fan of these guitars. I'm glad that they've expanded the line to include these. Um, yeah. And they've got the typical nice... Uh, Fjörk uh, touches like the linear dots, you know. Yeah, and the the thing that blows my mind the most almost is like that seam at the headstock. Where it's the, so precise. Where the neck and the headstock kind of meet. You can't feel it at all when uh -uh. you're playing it. And like, so I, I shot a video earlier today. Just I tuned it up, I took it apart, and I put it back together. And it was a pretty solid in-tune match. But getting that off, it's not like you know, the easiest thing in the world because right. it sticks in there, it's so tight, which is what you want. Which is why so, I didn't do it when I was balancing it on my yeah, lap. Yeah, um, but so the thing is, these are made to be taken apart and put back together forever. Like they're not gonna crap out on you at any right. point. Um, they are really, really well made and just that kind of thing where you can't even feel it. And then this, that it's, it's a great uh, kind of feat of engineering that they've done and it does make a difference that they're all solid wood. I mean, these Coco Bolo and Rosewood, somewhat similar in right. terms of their tone, but I mean, you can hear a difference with the mahogany one. You can definitely tell it's an all mahogany guitar. And um, yeah, they're super cool. I played both of these, so take a listen.
there you go. It's the new Little Jane LG LJ. LJ. A little Jean. <laughs> little Jean. It's the Little Jane. I wonder where they got that name from, Little Jean. I'm sure it's a family member. We're going to ask him. Uh, yeah, we got to ask him. We're, we'll we, ask we, him when we're there. When we're there, we're going to, we'd like to meet Jane. Take us to Jane, please. Where's Jane? That's uh, big Jane. <laughs> so um, one thing I, I did want to talk about on these. Um, so I had a call from a gentleman the other day. He was kind of looking for something with this scale length. There's not a whole lot of... 24 inch scale length guitars and, and again this is just a little bit more it's 24 3 16 um, uh, but he was also looking for something with a cutaway which is really really difficult I think the Martin Jr. triple O is probably the closest thing but looking at these guitars I don't know that you really need a cutaway because of the way it's constructed you know your 12th fret here is a 14th fret but it's like you're it's right there yeah um, so there's a lot of access to this and like I said before if you want to have a guitar to travel with specifically so that you can keep up with your playing, I love, I have a GS Mini, you have a GS Mini, we, you know, we are huge fans of theirs. Um, but I've always kind of, in my mind, I don't know if you deal with this, been conscious not to pick that guitar up too often as like my main thing because of its short scale length and the fact that, you know, the frets are a little smaller together and then you go to practice something that you've been working on there and it, it, the stretch is different and so forth. So I do think there's something to be said about having a longer scale length in a guitar that you're gonna travel with. Yeah. Um, I think there's Plus that to is it. technically a cut away part of the guitar. So go. it does, have, I mean. It's a, it's a cut away. Um, so yeah, real quick, I wanna talk a little bit about what our fellas from the Czech Republic are doing this year because these are kind of the first of some very cool guitars yep. and we'll get into those. But if you like Little Janes, you got more options now. If you like duo bevel guitars, uh, like the Blue Deluxe and the Red Deluxe, uh, but you wanted something at a more entry level price point, there's gonna be some cool stuff for you. If you want to experiment with what it sounds like to have a rosewood on the top, back, and sides, that's gonna be a thing as I've well. I've had specific emails asking about that. I'm like, guess what? Yeah. I'm gonna be able to tell you definitively what it sounds like pretty soon. I played it at NAMM. Yeah. At NAMM, it sounded like drums and saxophone. But here, I'm sure it'll sound like a guitar. Here, it's going to sound good. And also, I feel like this brand is doing stuff that a lot of other manufacturers are kind of scared to just dive into. Mm -hmm. um, having guitars ranging from $1,500 to $2,500 that are built like this and fit into a backpack, that's kind of a risk. Yep. It's been proven because they themselves will say that the Little Jane is like their top seller. Um, it's been proven that there's a market for it. Nobody else in the world is going to do a rosewood top, you know, like one of the big players in the American guitar making scene. They're not going to do a rosewood top guitar. No. They're not going to do duo bevels on a sub $1,500 guitar. Um, so I really like that they're experimenting with things and going full on into it, you know? Yeah, and they have such cool offerings in their lineups, and they have such amazing offerings if you wanted to build a custom guitar, yeah. which I know you and I have both like tried to break the configurator on the website with cool stuff yeah. before. Um, so yeah, we we have been and continue to be very big fans of Furch or Furk or Fuk or I will ask them to help me with my pronunciation when uh, we visit. Um, but yeah, they're fantastic, and you know we I'll tell you this, you know we we sold a lot of these to people particularly who are pilots. And so I'm going to uh, speak to you pilots who travel probably more than anybody else. Uh, when you're trying to play guitar, if you're looking for something like this, in my opinion, I've played a bunch of different stuff. This is probably one of the best like detachable neck guitars there is. Yeah, you so. could take a, in your plane, you could take a journey, but why not take a Jane, am I right? Yeah, stick it in the overhead. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so these are very cool and the proof is in the sound. I think they sound really, really fantastic. Not just for a travel guitar, they're just good sounding guitars. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get more in. This one is limited. This is gonna be the only one that we have of these probably ever. One of 20 in the world. In the world, uh, it's in very the pretty. World. Yeah, so I think this one will go very fast and that one will probably go fast, but luckily we'll have more of those in. We'll have yep. all mahoganies, we'll have spruce mahogany. And uh, then, you know, you're gonna wanna subscribe because then we can get to show you the yellow darks and the violet deluxe mm -hmm. and the new greens and the new vintage guitars 
Um, all of them are very cool. We got to see some of them from Nam. Some of them we have not seen. We've just seen photos of, but we know they're going to be good. And all of them you'll find on our website, which right now we actually have some things that we've been out of stock of for a while. Some of the heavy hitters, the the top sellers from uh, from the fellas at FERC. But uh, yeah, keep your eye on the website and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications and like the videos and tell us what you think. Good job. There we go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.